Alexa, give me a Star Wars fact. What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video and today we're going to go through the basic setup and configuration of an Amazon Alexa device, specifically the Echo Dot. So let's jump right in. The first thing that we're going to want to go through is plug in the actual device itself. So as you can see, as we've spin it around here, we've got our USB cable and you'll just plug it right into the back of there. And once you've got it plugged in, you can see the blue light with the, the lighter blue spinning around. That's going to go ahead and take a minute to boot up. So while it's doing that, head on over to the App Store and download the Alexa app. Now, why the Alexa or the Amazon Dot is booting up, you're going to want to go over and visit the Play Store. I've got a Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus here for demonstration. So we're going to go ahead and click on the Play Store and it's going to take us here. And at the very top, we are going to type in Alexa and once you have found the app go ahead and click install it'll take a moment to go through and install everything but once it is finished installing you will want to go ahead and click open once the app is finished downloading go ahead and click open and this is going to begin the initial setup you're going to want to go in and sign into your Amazon account now once you've signed into your Amazon account it's going to say help Alexa get to know you personalize your experience and connect with friends and family you're going to want to go ahead and click I'm someone else now it's going to ask to give Amazon permissions you will need to allow to continue allow and then it's going to load the next section of the startup. Now, right here, you can go ahead and put in your phone number if you'd like to verify that. I'm going to go ahead and click skip up in the top right hand corner. And it's going to take me to the home page of the Alexa app. And it's going to give you a quick rundown of what the app is all about. Go ahead and go through all these next and then click on done. Now you'll notice right here that it's going to give you kind of a brief overview of your weather in your area, etc. Go up to the top left corner and click on the little three lines at the top. Click on add a device. And then you're going to want to go through and choose your model. So in this case, this is an Amazon Echo. And is an echo dot now as you can see there are three different types of generations you're going to want to match the picture to what your device actually looks like in this case if you can see right there in the background it's a little bit blurry but mine is the first and first or second generation so i'm going to click on the bottom option it'll then go through and load everything and say begin echo dot setup we are going to go ahead and hit continue and then we're going to go ahead and continue you will need to give amazon alexis access to your device location otherwise you will not be able to proceed so i'm going to click allow now the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to wait for the orange light now since we plug plugged in this device earlier and allowed it time to boot, you can see on there now that we have, we have an orange dot or an orange light spinning around. If you do not see that, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click on do not, I do not see the orange light. And it's going to tell you what button to press for six seconds, which is the action button, which is right here. You will want to hold that down until you get this rotating orange light. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and click on continue. This is the part where it's going to ask you to manually connect your Echo or your, your device to your network. So what you're going to want to do is go into your Wi-Fi settings and you're going to notice a device or a different type of network in there. In this case, it's Amazon dash nine QK. This is the device's Wi-Fi network that you're going to initially connect to it so you can bring over your actual Wi-Fi network and get it connected. Click on it. You've connected now. Go back to the Alexa app. Once you've got the prompt from the Alexa that you've connected, you go ahead and click on your back arrow and it's going to say continue echo dot setup. We are going to click on continue. This is the part where you're going to want to select the Wi-Fi network that you want the Alexa to use. In this case, I'm just going to go ahead and use the top option. And since it is saved in your phone, it's going to automatically transfer over that password. If it is not, and this is the first time you're connecting both devices to that Wi-Fi network, you will need to type in a password to make that happen. Once that is connected, it's going to say your echo dot is online, is now connected to the internet tap continue to customize your Alexa experience and you're going to notice that both can or both once you hit continue both devices are going to go back to their original network another cool feature is if you do have a Bluetooth speaker you can go ahead and set this up if you have multiple devices around your house you're more than welcome to go through and organize them into where you want I'm just going to go ahead and choose office since that's where this one will be located and then I'm going to go ahead and hit on continue otherwise you can click skip or if you don't see your option in here you can scroll down to the bottom and create a custom name once you've organized your device device into the room, you can go ahead and go to this setup. It says, welcome to the Echo Dot. Right here is a short video that you can go through and watch just to kind of get some basics on how to get started. But for this, I'm just going ahead and click on skip and it's going to take us back to the home page of the Alexa app. Perfect. Now, once you're done with the setup, you're going to notice that the blue light on the machine is actually gone and that indicates everything is set up. Now, every time you say her name, her little blue light will show up and it's going to have a lighter blue on what direction it heard the sound from. So let's go ahead and give that a try. Alexa, what's the weather like. It's 62 degrees Fahrenheit with clear skies and sun. Today, you can look for mostly sunny weather with a high of 66 degrees and a low of 43 degrees. Now, one more thing before we go, since today is May 4th and in honor of our Star Wars fans, we'll consult Alexa for a random Star Wars fact. Alexa, give me a Star Wars fact. Actors Burt Reynolds, Al Pacino, 
Jack Nicholson and Christopher Walken were among the contenders to play the role of Han Solo. And that wraps up today's video. If you liked it or found it useful, give it a like and a share, bringing us into our question of the day. What other Easter eggs have you found with Amazon Alexa? Leave your answers in the comment section below the video. And of course, while you're down there, don't forget to smash tap or just simply click that subscribe button as well as enable future notifications. We will see you on the next one. Alexa, may the force be with you. And may the force be with you, always. Thank you.